Live. Live. Live from Blosserville, California, the beautiful El Dorado County Fairgrounds. It's night number three of the Hangtown 100. Second annual. Wait a minute. Right? Shark Tales Woo. with Andy. Um, <laughs> I already did the intro. So let's see, what the hell happened tonight? I uh, went to the Mandarin Festival in Auburn. Yeah, you got some... You live in Auburn and you've never been there. To the Aub to I've the been Mandarin, to Auburn. To the Mandarin <laughs> Festival. Yeah, you're So right. that's where Fast Fridays is? So at, yeah, at, that at the Auburn Fairgrounds. Okay. Uh, that's where my dad track. started racing. Banner. Uh, it used to be a quarter mile racetrack and then in 1974 they quit racing cars there and then a couple years later they brought in the Speedway Motorcycles that's currently known as Fast Fridays. And uh, that's what goes on at the Auburn Fairgrounds during the summer on Friday nights. And I got to... <clears throat> but I've never been to the Mandarin Festival. I got to drive your drive that you typically do every... Through the weekend, canyon? Yeah, to Flashville. It's a lot. I don't know. I just always assumed, oh, you're right next to Flashville. But no, it's no. like 45 minutes or so. So closer. have you ever heard of the Auburn Dam Project? They were one time, one time going to build the Auburn Dam, and that would take probably 15 minutes off the drive. We just drive straight across. Well, mm -hmm. at that time, we were going to drive across the dam, but then after the 9/11, you can't or you can't drive over anything important. So um, you would have driven a bridge. So long story short, um, we're talking about the Auburn Dam and the Manor Festival, and we're at the races, the major races. She's watching live. She's, she's watching sitting next to the live. live. Why are she you wanted... watching it live on Facebook? She when didn't you're want to miss anything. Sitting right next to us. <laughs> wow. So, what are they talking about? <laughs> I was kind of confused what I was listening to. I'm like, man, it was like yourself. It's kind of like it was when like you, an echo. you call into the radio station live and they tell you don't listen to the radio station <laughs> right, right. while you're talking to the radio station. I'll take my answer off there. Uh, um, so back to the races. Uh, so we said, how do you beat Kyle Larson? Last night, how do you beat Kyle Larson? We said there's the only way you can beat Kyle Larson is if he crashes or breaks. Well, he did both tonight, and he got beat. Yeah. So. And I, well, we have to run the tape back, but I did call out Buddy and Grant were the two names that I mentioned. We mentioned Golvik, too, and that was a heartbreaker. He got it up to fourth, and then two lappers kind of got together, one spun, the right in front, right in front of the leaders, Buddy barely missed it, and Golubic was battling for position in fourth and had nowhere to go. So he brought or so he wrecked, and that was when they had the red for after 50 laps. The halfway mark, yeah. Yeah, so he got to make changes and get back out there. I don't know what he ended up, but Ten. yeah. Tenth. Damn. Heartbreaker. He was ro he was rolling pretty good. Kyle tried and tried and tried. Drove the drove the left front shock right off the car, tipped over, came back, tried some more. <laughs> Wasn't his night. Yeah. So Buddy looked the like the goat got beat tonight. Yeah. Looked like Buddy had it covered so for did a I. long time. And then Justin Grant just kind of steadily kind of picked people off and got into second and just like kind of paced Cofoy for the majority of the race, but then like I don't just found something. But then Logan Seavey with the little crafty veteran move, like just moving around the track, kind of like locking it down right in the middle. Yeah. We were talking it was kinda of like his lightning sprints line. He like won that main event, just kinda of running like middle of the track almost. Kind of not all the way up in the cushion, just kind of middle of the track. He drove a really nice line in that car. It's like he wasn't, I won't say he wasn't trying, but the other guys were just like driving in their sideways and driving you, shit out of it. And he was just like, brr, brr. Did you just, see him win the Silver Crown race at Eldora? Like he drove it just like that yeah. too. Like super straight, like he was on the pavement track and locked down. Like, well, it worked. Logie's got some yeah. things figured out, dude. Good job. Congrats yeah, on the... Probably, uh, mm -hmm. I know. They have those top three in that main event were all go-kart kids, all California. And overall points was Logan, and part of Charger was Tanner Kirk. Really? Yeah, he came from the field. Wow, Cycleland. That's amazing. That's, uh, 
that is really amazing if you think about it. just the tonight the 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 goodness the awesomeness that came out of cycle in and then we talked about it before just you got three guys that run nascar every sunday that all came out of cycle in it's like just what you learn at that racetrack and then those outlaw cards is just phenomenal yeah but uh and the big news broke that you apparently already knew because Andy's in the know, but what? Brad what Sweet, what? Kyle Larson, what? Colby Copeland, what? Taking over Silver Dollar Speedway. <laughs> what? Wow, you're a great actor. Yeah, like this... you really didn't know. What? <laughs> so yeah, uh, I guess <laughs> since you're bringing it up. Um, yeah, so uh, Dennis is going to stick to Marysville, and uh, Kyle and Brad and uh, Colby are going to try to rejuvenate it a little bit, pump some uh, love into the facility, and maybe do a little bit different type of promotional events at the racetrack. Um, maybe not necessarily all racing type stuff, but just, uh, just fun stuff in general. So uh, they've obviously got some pool and some connections. And we'll see. So a couple years with them behind the wheel, and I think we'll see where the Silver Dollar stands. And what would that be? Twenty twenty five, I think, is the next contract renewal. So fingers crossed that we can kind of get some love back in Chico for uh, motorsports because it has been kind of dried up, I guess. Yeah, it, yeah. Felt like it was getting that way. A little and bit then, of rinse and repeat. Yeah, and then COVID hit and just kind of wiped out everything and then but it's still kind of being like not sure in what was going on at the beginning of the year like they just said yeah we're probably gonna run just three weekends and that's about it so it's like man because that chico's my home yeah you could if they don't ever put a point season together you could be the last ever champion at silver dollar oh did i win the last one i think so Mm -hmm. 19 right Mm -hmm. And I, and I could be the last ever guy to run second to you at Silver Dollar. I think I ran second. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't remember? Oh, with O'Phil. Yeah. And O'Phil was third. Uh, yeah. Kyle O'Phil was third. Yeah. And that was with that cycle and format. I never started better than row three all goddamn year. Well, don't qualify so good. Ugh. I will take credit. I was the only guy to make the dash all every single point race, which... Mm. BFD. All that did was put me in row five. But that gives you three, lots five, of points six. with their Yeah, well, well, and I missed a race, so that's why I was still able to run second. I missed I, a race, too, though. I missed two races. <laughs> 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 oh, I did it. You were way better than me that late. I think, I don't even think I won a point race that year at Chico, and oh, really? you won a three, I think. So, the, the funny thing about that year would be is you and I would be typically in the dash together, and we would typically start near each other and we would get one or two laps in, and I would get screwed up, and I'd lose two or three spots, and you'd be two or three spots ahead. And so within the span of two laps, you were six spots ahead of me. And it's like, you know, what the hell happened? That's just the way that whole season went for me. Yeah. On top of we weren't fast enough. But now we're talking 2019. But, yeah, so. Because we're old. Yeah. <laughs> when, we're when talking we were, about when yeah, we were fast. Remember when we were winning stuff a long time but, ago? Uh, and I thought the track was good tonight. Um, I was a little surprised to see him come out and do the track farming at 10 o'clock, you know, pushing 10 o'clock, and it was cold. I, I thought he definitely needed to around the bottom. He did it around the top, and at first, like the first, like, 15 laps or 20 laps or so, like, I'm, well, I don't know if he should have touched the top, but it was a 100-lap race. Yeah. Like, he needed to do it. So, no. how about great job? The crowd. Oh, freaking packed. Like, Insane. yeah. Insane. Couldn't fit any more people in the stand, so they pointed them to, <laughs> to the pit, pit area. Pits, yeah. And, yeah. You Lines couldn't even, I'd say days. about 2 o'clock, I got a message from a friend saying, it is a zoo down here. Because yeah. we're, we're parked, we're camped a little bit away from all the BS parking and stuff. So I went down there and you couldn't even get into the fairgrounds. So, was, yeah. They were lined up at that point waiting for the autographs and it was like an hour before they were scheduled to do autograph sessions. You know, I have, I've got issues with race fans. And this, I don't know if this is makes sense or not, but now Chase Elliott is an anomaly. We don't ever get to see Chase Elliott here. But people, 
we had Brad Sweet here, we had Kyle Larson here for years, <laughs> and nobody really gave a shit, right? <laughs> we all knew they were good. They came out here at a very young age, and they did well. They excelled. But it's like, until they get on TV, then we're going to go watch them race locally, right? <laughs> we had them here for years. Why didn't everybody come watch them then? Nobody was knocking the door down to watch Kyle race here seven, eight years ago. Why? There. He was badass seven, eight years ago. You're, you're way more special when you're on TV, I guess. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, he's on TV. I'm going to go watch him race at Placerville. Ugh. There it, was one time tonight Gary asked the question you guys talked about last night. Oh, yeah. What kind of reaction did they get? Fans Is this your first, first, race? first race? And he said, wow, way less than last yeah. night. I'm really? surprised by that. I wonder but if people didn't raise they, their hands because they raised they last night. They raised oh, last night. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. It's now their second yeah. time. Or they were in the pits. Uh, yeah, those people might have been in the pits because they were turning people away from the main grandstand. So ran out of beer early. Yeah, food. Oh and beer. man, food you and don't beer. run food out of beer, beer with race fans. That's yeah. their number one thing they drink and eat for dinner is beer. You know they didn't want to overstock because this is kind of the last event of the year, so they didn't want tons of leftover stuff. But man, dude, okay, that's Brad, Kyle, and Colby. You can reuse those kegs next year. That's Promoter 101. <laughs> Leftover hot dogs? Hell, you sell them in March. No big deal. Buns, mayonnaise. Dang, use that next year. Dang. But, um, yeah, I mean, my dad soars up and down. They still have hot dogs from West Capitol here. So, <laughs> I'm not joking. Jimmy Wall tries really hard. I mean, he eats some hot dogs every year or every Two. every week here Two. when we get here. He eats a couple hot dogs. I don't know why because we feed him really good food, but yeah. he still insists on going and getting those old leftover West Capital hot dogs. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, that's about it for. I think that is it for 2022. I mean, you've gone to the 2021. 2021. Oh, 2021. Let's get 2022 going. No. What do you got cooking for 2022? Let's just talk about 2022 then. Do you know? I don't know. That makes anything. two of us then. Neither one. We could both. Maybe we should just watch every single race and do a podcast talk about every single race. Never race again. Like, especially like we were talking yesterday when it rained. Like, it was kind of nice, like, not having to go get in your fire suit whenever it's raining outside and say, hey, we need you to will will pack the track. It's like, yeah, that's not fun. I would have rather put my fire suit on last night than when they're calling for packing in July. And it's 107. Oh, and it's like, oh, mine, goody, go get dressed. Hot, I like you really? I like sweat. It's good. it's good for you. Release the toxins. Doesn't mean it's fun. I mean, that's like exercise is good for you. It doesn't mean you want to do it. Yeah, you do. Man, you got rocks in your head. So you have you started working out for next year? No, not yet. Me neither. But it's time. I start getting about Christmas. I'll start doing something. Yeah, I kind of because I don't wait till the New Year's. I'll just do it Christmas. That way, I didn't wait till the next yeah, year. Yeah, it's not a New Year's resolution. No. Yeah. No, I'm. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm kind of the same way because. You get like if you're on like a three month program or whatever, like if you start then, like right when race season starts, it's like, no, well, you're then you can quit. You've shape. done your three you're months. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I do. So I I do my little BS workout regimen, and after I get a few races under my belt, as long as I feel good, then I get and I can quit doing that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to try so hard anymore. I wonder if all these little kids that we race with, do they even work out? Is that a thing? Or are they just like naturally oh, just like not. stringy? They practice eye racing. That's how they, that's how they work out. You work out by eye racing. I've never eye raced. Have you? No. I, my brother has, has it set up and I ran some practice laps with it one time when I was at his house, but that was it. Our nephew has a race seat. The, the, the simulator? Computer yeah. And... Yeah. I've never actually even been that good at race games in general. Oh, really? No. Mario Kart? No. Oh, I used to kill people at Mario Kart. I was good at Duck Hunt, but I would actually put <laughs> put the gun right on the TV screen. And... Yeah, I was good I at that. I did that when I was seven. Yeah. Sure. Don't talk about the dance. With the dog? 
Yeah. <laughs> he laughed at you. Dance Dance Revolution. And, yeah, he was a big... He, he t- <laughs> Did he you really? He kicked Kaylin's ass at Dance Dance Revolution ever. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. Only by this using his arms. <laughs> Man, I don't even remember that. He's Kaylin. using his arms, yeah, like he for the buttons that was, on the ground. No, it was a. No, that was no, no. that was we, wasn't it? Yeah, we. That's right. Uh, it was that game where you did the dancing. Yeah, you had to do the paddles. Dancing with that game? I don't. He <clears throat> could win that game by just using his hands, not as moving his feet or anything. He stood, and Kalen would get so mad. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of had it figured out. We had we had the sports we and like we we're playing golf and tennis, and I'm just sitting down like golfing like, <laughs> and, like tennis like that. But I was good at it, but that's all I had to do. That's not what you're supposed I know, to do. I know it's supposed to be for exercise and yeah. good health, like get your body moving. But no, so your wrist is good. I'm. I do my wrist it. is really good. <laughs> Andy. Yeah, I was say I don't need we for my wrist <laughs> exercise. Let me tell you, piece of cake. Um, <laughs> All right, so the race season's over, banquet season's over. What the hell else is there left to do this? Oh, well, banquet guess... season's not over for you. Well, me oh, you. That's... we still have an FCCT. Are they even having I one? Don't know I don't if they're know. having one. And then you have Petaluma. Well, theirs is in January, so it's technically next year. So, so how I'm... many people are showing up for that? Um, I have we no idea. Go. We might go. That'd be fun. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, we'll celebrate another drinks. Champion. Drinks are on me. I'm just. I'll give you guys. We'll have a. <laughs> let's not invite C.J. Humphreys. Oh my God. He I might think kill I'm us. still hungover from that moonshine. <laughs> Whatever 160 proof is, that's what he said that was. But don't worry, it was peach flavored. Right? Have I talked about this already? No. Oh man. Okay, so I'll talk about it. P- uh, C.J. Humphreys got me up. Killed. Tried killing me. At the banquet last week, <laughs> the Bosserville banquet. First, I thought they were just going to beat me up, and then, then they took me outside and gave me this peach moonshine, which I'm like, well, it's peach. It's got to taste good. So I'm like, you know, I took a pretty big swig of it, thinking peach schnapps, you know, that's going to be like that. Oh my god, it, I could feel me getting drunk in like a minute. It was bad. <laughs> so how CJ told it was, <laughs> you tried it. Guys all went back in, and then you called them back out like, we need to do another one. Well, that is yeah. that. <laughs> okay. He blamed okay. Ryan when well, I yeah, asked Ryan, him. Ryan, Ryan, uh, PJ well, Media nice. Ryan, <laughs> talked about. She's a she bad influence some. for that. So, of course, if, if she, you know, if she wants, you don't turn cute girls down that want to do things with you. So, <laughs> oh. I'm like, well, yeah, well, yeah, let's go take some more shots. So, I said, CJ, <laughs> let's go. Ryan. And, uh. Oh my gosh. She was very prevalent in Gold Cup Blacklight Party, too. There might be a theme here with Ryan. Oh man, I don't remember much about that party. <laughs> See? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When Ryan's around, you be careful. That was a fun night, though. <laughs> it was great. I gotta give the uh, Angus Truly Camp a lot of credit for the Blacklight Party, which is gonna continue at the Gold Cup this year. Oh yeah. They're definitely a part of the new and improved Gold Cup that uh, the new promotion team's got planned. So. How do you know that already? You just found out like five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's. Ago. I, I know. I just told you. That's amazing. I'm ass- okay, I'm assuming they're still gonna be a part of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna assume there's gonna be other cool stuff at the Gold Cup too. Let's just say. Speaking of cool stuff why isn't the light on on our fancy thing oh, no <laughs> oh my god turn it on okay see how great it so is so they can say goodbye okay the show's over all right good so night guys that's it from placerville <laughs> california now that the light's on we've Are you talked serious? enough yeah i stood up yeah, we're done that's it for 2021 no more shark tales ever this year done can candace and i make shirts you can do whatever you want. You guys are adults. When have we ever said no and you listen to that? <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> what? All the time. We but yeah, no you're right. Time, when have you said no all the time, matter. but you never listen to us. That's true. That part's true. So, Interesting uh, to see how many people out there would. You're going to make a bunch of shirts and sell three. <laughs> and we're going to give the other 300 away. Okay, fans. He Let just told us, us to buy 300. He did. No, I'm not Let telling you Let us know. Anything. Would you buy a Shark Tales 
with Andy. No, you're shows. now you're making this too commercial. We're just doing this for the love of the of the of the racing, right. love of the sport. Yeah, we don't we're want... just trying to spread the love. Listen to these of two. Racing in general. All right. What's the Before you name? come up with any more lame ideas, turn this thing off. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for appreciating the show. We appreciate you There's tuning a, it's in. It's pretty cool. Somebody when said yes. Mention. Whoever just said yes, no. <laughs> That's it. See ya. See you next year.